This is my brand new Crammer Abacus made and gifted to me by my friend Ian over at the Mountain Lakes Public Library Project Makerspace. Thank you, Ian. This is actually a personalized abacus. It says Monique's Abacus in Braille along the top of the frame and along the left side of the frame in tactile print. Very cool. And Ian used pipe cleaners for the columns or rods and small wooden beads, uh, slightly smaller than the beads on a commercially produced Crammer Abacus. The Crammer Abacus is a modified uh, Sorbonne or Japanese abacus used by uh, blind people, and I teach it to my students who are blind. Each column features a tactile dot along the counting bar and along the bottom of the frame so uh, that one knows one's place. Uh, there are also three tactile lines, I'm sorry, tactile lines every three columns representing the commas in larger numbers. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a feel for the movement of the beads by counting up to 25, um, pushing one bead at a time, and I'm going to start in the ones column, obviously, which is all the way on the right side of the abacus. I should have said there are 13 columns uh, moving from uh, right to left, starting with the ones all the way to the trillions. So I'm going to go ahead and count up to 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Whoops, and now I have 25. My fingers slipped a little bit, just getting used to these smaller beads and uh, certainly the movability of the rods because they are made of pipe cleaner. The commercially made abacus uh, has uh, steel or metal bars. So uh, I have 25 now. I'm going to go ahead and add 13. So to add 13, I'm going to set one bead in the tens column, and I'm going to push up three beads in the ones column. And now I have 38. And to get some more practice, I'm going to go ahead and do a subtraction problem. I have 38, and I'm going to subtract 19. So I'm going to take away one bead in the tens column, and to subtract nine in the ones, I'm going to take away one bead in the tens column and push up one bead in the ones column. And now I have 19. And then I can clear the abacus, put everything back to zero by moving all the beads away from the counting bar, and I'm back to zero.